Thank you for joining us with the next video of this series. Today, I'm going to go over the process for installing a PX4 development environment on Linux, specifically Ubuntu 18.04, which can be used for building PX4 firmware and to run the JMAF Sim Multicopter Simulator. The installation process is simple, but requires the use of terminal and installing a few tools. I'm going to go over what tools you'll need to install first, then we will get right into installing the PX4 toolchain and simulator. After that, we'll do a quick demo of how to build and run the simulator. If at any point you feel lost, there will be a link in the description for the written instructions that you can follow along with. The instructions are the official instructions from the dev guide, so if you have any concerns, you can find the precise commands there. Alright, let's get right into it. The first piece of software that you'll need to install on your system is Git. The easiest way to install it is sudo apt-get install git and type your password. If you're having trouble with that or have a previous version installed, then please go to git-scm.com slash download slash Linux for the latest version. Now, let's continue. After installing Git, we can run a few more commands to install the common tools. These are the tools that you need for both the simulators and building firmware. However, these commands are for the current release and may not work with older releases. All right, let's do this. Luckily, for Ubuntu users, there's a script you can run after cloning the repo that will set up everything for you. This means you basically only have to run two commands and you're set up with your environment. If you go to dev.px4.io, then click Getting Started, Toolchain Installation, Linux, and finally, Ubuntu Debian Linux. You'll see the two commands I'm talking about. However, I'm going to demonstrate them for you now. Okay. The first thing you do is clone the Git repo. Do that by typing the following in your terminal. Git clone https github.com forward slash px4 firmware dot get recursive next you just need to run the script do that by typing this in your terminal cd firmware bash dot forward slash tools setup ubuntu dot sh and then enter your password once everything has installed you'll need to reboot your system you can do that with this command and then press enter. All right, welcome back. Now everything is installed. We just need to do our first build to get everything started and then we can demo the simulator. So to do that back in terminal, type the following. CD firmware, make PX4 underscore SITL JMAV sim. Now you're building the firmware. This might take a bit of time so grab a coffee or two depending on your system. I'm going to fast forward through all of this for you though. Once this is done then it's time to issue your last command. However, if you find these instructions aren't working like in this video then please create an issue on the GitHub repo or contact us in Slack so we can resolve the problem as quickly as possible. It's likely that something has recently changed and we just didn't catch it yet. 
you should see a simulator running now. If not, then go back and make sure you didn't miss a step. Again, I'll paste a link to all the commands in the description. The final command we need now is Commander Takeoff. Now, the simulated drone should take off. To land it, just type Commander Land. Okay, that's it. Thanks again for joining us in this series of videos. I just want to add that you can also find all of this information at dev.px4.io if you need further information. Also, there is another simulator you can install found at that link called Gazebo. You can also install that if you want. It'll give you the ability to test other vehicles. Okay. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you again.